Hey y'all, we did something stupid. We saw a thing, all oh, about a year ago, so yes, we're late to the whole trend of this, of running a marathon in 24 hours, essentially a mile an hour. Um, you run one mile, one hour, rest, whatever. And trend said that it was harder than a marathon. Well, I've recently ran a marathon, so we decided to find out. This is the stupidest challenge we've ever done. Enjoy. Hey, we're on the front porch. It is three, not 3.01. That's the time. We're gonna go run our first mile. I got like an hour of sleep, if that. Here we go, the first mile. First mile done, 111. Um, our course is mostly uphill for the first half mile before we turn around. Uh, one mile done, 315. Uh, we're gonna do it again in 45 minutes. All right, 20 seconds to five o'clock. Here we go for run number three. Hey, number three done, right, Stacy? Yeah. 1220 for segment number three. Three miles in, cheeky 5K. Or just overdone. Ah, camera drop. <laughs> uh, it's 515 in the morning. <sighs> Feeling any better? No. All right. <laughs> we'll catch you in 45 minutes. The sun is up. There's a bird up there. Sun is up. It is just before six, as we go on run number four. Here we go again. Done and dusted, I gotta hit save. 111, 1209. Ooh. Hey, we're getting faster every run. Is it because the sun's coming up and we're waking up? Maybe, maybe. I guess we'll see how it continues. Uh, run number four, 440 done. Uh, 20 more to go. 20 more to go. As the alarm goes off to get ready for the next one, Stacy's gotta deter. Snug on her. It is about to turn seven o'clock. It's about to turn seven o'clock. Run five? Let's run five. Run five. Here we go again. I am getting tired of running up these hills. We're back. We tried a different course that time. We tried running around. We kind of have a block here. Kind of. But it's got a super steep incline on either side to run around the block. If we tried that, we had to walk. Uh, it was a little bit slower. Besides that one rough hill climb though, that's like a tenth of a mile with that. It did feel better. But I know as the day goes on, we're going to end up having, if we keep that route, we're going to have to walk up that every time. It's going to get harder. Five, done and dusted. We're almost a quarter of the way there. Eight oh one. We're a minute late. Uh, we're gonna try to go up and down our road here this time and see what it comes out to. How's that course, Stacy? Eh, it was all right. <laughs> it was all right. She said it was really hard, but we were a minute faster. They're eleven twenty for the one point ten. So overall, it did feel easier. I think we're gonna do that one a few times at least, if not the majority, just because I think it is our best bet to guarantee success without killing ourselves. We'll see y'all in a few seconds. Like watch, I'll wave like this. Time for run number, I don't know what we're on, seven, eight, who knows. It's just after nine o'clock. We're gonna go down to the road again. Here we go. Uh, that's 7.7 .7 miles in. Mine was 11, I already forget, 11, 20, 11, 30. Uh, a little bit slower than the last one, but it's starting to get hot. Uh, 
and it went from freaking cold, you know, low 40s or 10 Celsius to, I don't know what it is, but it's starting to feel hot. Uh, temperature swings here in the desert or something else, I'll tell you what. Stacy made crepes. That's her crepe. My crepes are not that fancy. I just slap them together. That's my crepe. <laughs> All right, 10 o'clock. We ate some crepes. We're gonna go do the 10 o'clock run. Same up and down. I'm gonna take the dog with me this time because uh, they need to go on walks and runs. We're just not gonna take them on all of them. You can hear her whining because she wants to go now, but I'm talking to the camera. Uh, Stacy will be here in just a second. We're gonna go. We'll see you when we're done. All right. Uh, 10 o'clock run. I don't know. What was that? My, run, a, run seven, run eight. Mm. Run eight, Stacy says. So we should be at 8.8. 8. It's getting warm. Uh, our time was a little bit slower, 11.55 that time. So I think that's because we just ate. We took the dogs. Uh, we'll see you again in like 45 minutes. All right. 11 o'clock run. Here we go. <laughs> I swear we're killing her. Stay hard. Yeah. She's not happy we're leaving her behind. Uh, it's 11.35 for me. Here comes Stacy right here. Finishing strong. And there she goes. Mile 10 for her as well. <sighs> it's getting hard. I think I'm gonna try to take a nap for like 30 minutes in this one. I don't know if it was anticipation of this or other stuff, but we both just could not go to sleep. I'm starting to feel the fatigue myself and we're not halfway there yet, so. Uh, yeah, I might try to lay down for 30, 40 minutes. Okay, I think I slept for maybe, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not even refreshed, but I do feel like I slept a little bit. <sighs> it's time for the noon o'clock run. Here we go. Okay, uh, that puts us at 11, 10 times 1.10, 11 miles. So, yeah. Bright light, it is 1 p.m. in the afternoon, 11th run. I think I slept a little bit more, I'm not sure. I'm feeling a little more refreshed. Watch says my bad body, ugh. watch says my body battery is at five out of a hundred. So uh, according to my watch, I'm about to die. <laughs> about 45 minutes in between every time you gotta go run. Sure does make the day go by pretty fast. Won't lie. Um, this kind of sucks. This is stupid. <laughs> uh, that's our 11th run. Done and dusted. Uh, that one was slow. 12.54 for 1.11. Uh, so I think we're feeling it. Uh, that's for sure. Almost halfway there. Two o'clock in the afternoon. We're in the inside, because inside's cooler. This is our halfway run. And then we're gonna cook brats, because that's what we're having for July 4th, is some brats. There we go. No excitement at all. This is actually kind of hard. Okay, we are halfway done. Right, Stacy? Yeah. She says, yay, jazz hands. 
uh, we're gonna go eat brats and uh, spend 45 minutes or so chilling again before we do this again. All right, 3 p.m. Lap number 13? Yeah, 13. And Stacy's going in the no man's land. She hasn't ran past 13 miles in 11 years. So uh, yeah, it's not all in one chunk, but uh, something new for her. Uh, here we go. Run number 13, but should have us at 14 miles something. Uh, done, still hot, still no shade on our course. Uh, this time instead we just did four smaller laps. Instead of doing the whole long road, we, we split it kinda into half and just ran up the halfway and back four times like a high school track. Uh, just cause we're tired and it felt like it was a less elevation gain. Maybe not. A little over halfway done. Still trucking. Y'all know the phrase, it's 5 p.m. somewhere. Last well, somewhere's here. Here we go again. Okay, probably hear the chimes. 11.48 for me, stays a little bit longer. Um, because we got tired of running in the sun. And this is the only shade on our whole road or anywhere for quite a while. Uh, we ran loops right there where she's walking from basically shade to shade. Came at like 0.02 to 0.03 per stretch and then circle. So a lot of circles, but it kept us mostly in the shade, which was a little refreshing. I don't even know how many more to go. I'm losing track. Anyways, done again. Seven o'clock. Still really hot. I don't have anything else to say besides that. It's still really hot. Here we go again. All right, so it's like four degrees cooler, which is apparently perfect for Stacy, because she pushed me. Uh, 11.03, but uh, she was setting the pace and I was just doing my best to keep up with her. So uh, she's getting stronger while I'm getting weaker. Oh. It's true. So anyways, we'll see you at 8 o'clock when it should be even cooler. 8 o'clock. If you're still watching this video, you know what that means. We'll talk to you when we get back. Don't let the sun go down on me. Three quarters of the way done. That one was an 11.50 for the 1.10. Uh, temperature's definitely coming down, so Stacy's feeling much better. She definitely struggles in the heat a little bit more than me. Yeah, six more to go, I think. If I'm mathing right, we're getting there. Nine p.m. into the part where we like to start at. Nine o'clock run done, 12.35 I think. Uh, this one was a little bit harder because I ate between these. We're getting there, we're getting close. It's midnight, July 5th. Three runs to go, after this two. I want to go to bed. That's the midnight run done. Uh, 13.37 for me, for another 1.10. That puts us at 24.2. It's 1 a.m. This is our second to last run. So we're gonna do exactly a mile this time and a mile next time. We're so close. 1 a.m. Mile exact done. It was 11, 11.51. 
Uh, we got one to go. We just gotta wait the 50 minutes to do it. 2 a.m. July 5th. The final mile out of all the hours where the gap went by fast, this is the only one where it took forever for that last 50 minutes or whatever to, to happen so we can come out here. I don't have much else to say at the moment. We're gonna go get this thing done, then we'll come back. Cause it's 2 a.m. And I wanna be done. Cause this is stupid. 26.2. My last mile was 11.43, I think. Um, we're done. Uh, we're gonna do a recap after we sleep. All right, we are three days, four days? I think four days removed from the challenge. Uh, meant to shoot this sooner. Uh, ended up going to a family event, then having a nephew stay with us for a bit, uh, which didn't give us time to, to finish the wrap up. So a couple days late, but it's given us time to mill it over, mull it over, to think about it. <laughs> so we've completed it. Is it harder than a marathon? Physically, no. Running 26.2 miles in one go is harder than a 45 minute break in between every one. Mentally, I, I think that's where this actually, that debate is on where these are harder or not. It might be harder mentally. When you start getting into those 15, 16 hours where you've very little sleep, uh, very little, I mean, you, you have time to consume calories and stuff for energy, but yeah, everything's on a time limit. Very little wind down time before you're going back out there. So mentally, I think that's where people say it's harder than a marathon. When you've trained for a marathon, at least, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, you get used to that mental load of, hey, I'm gonna be doing this for so many hours, Four or five hours of running sounds terrible, but when you're doing three hours of training running and stuff like that, you kind of learn to flip a switch in your mind to where that's not a big deal. But when you're doing this, you don't really get to flip that switch. Like it's very much, oh, it's just a mile until it's uh, another mile. And, and so I think that's the difference there mentally on why it's harder mentally. Overall, Physically not harder, mentally harder. Um, I don't recommend this challenge to anybody. After doing it, we thought, oh, that can't be harder, etc. That That seems like a fun little challenge. It, uh, it turned into torture. It absolutely did. It was not the fun day I thought it was gonna be. For those out there that think it's gonna be a fun little challenge to do, um, it's not. In the end, Stacy got a marathon badge because she would pause her workout in between every one, so she eventually got one. It said it took her 24 hours to do a marathon, but she got one. Um, I don't even know, was the badge worth the, the work? I don't know. I don't have quite as negative an opinion as Tyson does. I, I mean, yeah, it sucked. It was hard, but I, I could say I did it. And yeah, kind of humorous to have a marathon. A uh, time of 23 hours, 15 minutes recorded in my watch, so. <laughs> it guarantees if she does a marathon, she should get a PB <laughs> yeah. next time. But, so yeah. I guess a little bit of slight different opinion there. I don't think it's worth it. It might be a fun story. I don't think it's worth it overall. So that's my final thoughts. That's the 26 miles in 24 hours done and dusted. With that, stay safe, keep pushing. Thanks y'all. <laughs> Oh, like, subscribe, comment. If there's actually a better challenge out there, let us know.